In this YouTube video, we will demonstrate you how to get the weekly YouTube report directly on your Google Spreadsheet. For this, you need to integrate your YouTube analytics with Google Sheets using free Google App Script. To initiate the process, first, you need to open up a Google Spreadsheet and have to give it an appropriate name just the way we did. Next to this, you have to click on the Extensions button and have to choose the App Script option. As you can see, here the coding section of the free Google Apps script has been opened to you. Consequently, you have to paste the complete and working code of the free Google Apps script here. You can copy this script code directly from the description box. Once you have pasted the script, you need to replace the required details in it such as spreadsheet ID, channel ID, recipient ID, API key, sheet name, and more. For this, you have to copy the URL of your Google spreadsheet after the slash icon of D and before the slash icon of edit to make it a sheet ID and have to paste it in front of the spreadsheet ID in the coding section. The next step is to add the channel ID. For this, you have to go to your YouTube channel and have to move towards the advanced settings section of your YouTube channel setting dashboard. As a consequence, you can copy the channel ID from right here just by clicking on the copy button and paste it into the coding section in front of the channel ID. Once you have pasted the channel ID, then you have to put the desirable email ID in front of the recipient ID on which you will be updated about the status. You are allowed to add one or more than one email address there just by putting the commas in between them. Next, you need to take the API key for further integration. To do this, you have to go to the GCP platform and to the APIs and Services section. Here, you need to click on the Credentials option from the left side panel and click on the API Key 3 option. As you can see, this is the API key, hence you just need to copy it by clicking on the Copy button and have to paste it in the required area of the coding section. Once it's done, now you have to move towards adding the services. For this, you have to click on the Services option and select YouTube Data API v3 option from the drop-down prior to pressing the Add button. Once again, you need to click on the Services option, but this time you have to add YouTube Analytics API service by clicking on the Add button. After adding the services, you just need to click on the Run button of the script. As you will click on the Run button, it will ask you to authorize the permission. Hence, you just need to click on the Review Permissions, select a valid email address, and click on the Continue button before finally clicking on the Allow button. As you will do, you will see that the execution process has been started and get completed as well within a matter of seconds. Once the execution has been completed, we will come back to our spreadsheet and refresh it once. Just by refreshing the sheet, you will see that the header section has been updated in the sheet such as videos, shorts, total subscribers, and more. For further procedure, you need to come back to your free Google Apps script code have to add the triggers. For this, you need to click on the triggers option showing next to the alarm icon. From here, you have to select the get weekly status option from the function dropdown, header from deployment, time driven from event source, minutes timer from time based, every minute from minute interval, and notify me daily from notification before clicking on the save button. Here the status of the YouTube channel will be updated every minute in your sheet and on the email ID since we have set the minutes timer function in time based trigger, but to have the weekly update, you need to choose the week timer option in your time based function. As trigger has been added for the get weekly status function, hence you have to change the function of the script as well from on open to get weekly status. Once you have changed the function hints, you also need to run the script again by clicking on the Run button. As you have clicked, you will see that the execution process has been started and completed again but this time. It will give you the status such as the total number of columns, the number of rows in which the status has been filed, and the text for weekly status has been updated successfully. Now, we will come back to our spreadsheet and check the status of the YouTube channel in the Google Sheet. As you can see that sheet has not been updated yet. The reason behind it was that we had taken the other sheet's ID in the code of our app script. Consequently, here we will copy the sheet ID again after the slash icon of D and before the slash icon of edit and will paste it into the code of the app script before clicking on the run button. 
As you can see, the execution process has been started and completed once again. So, we will come once again to our Google spreadsheet, and you can see that the status of the YouTube channel has been updated in the sheet. For a verification check, we will go back to our YouTube channel and will match the details. Along with the automated updation in the spreadsheet, you will receive the status of your YouTube channel directly on your email ID to which you have added in the coding section. The status of your YouTube channel will not only give you weekly analytics, but will also update you about the particular dates of the status and other details. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos.